What's going on everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys and cannot just say Kevin O'Connor has been absolutely on fire recently. He's been putting out so many different news, you know, and again, we've got another one that we're coming today. This is all being reported by Kevin O'Connor. It is currently being reported that the Golden State Warriors are interested in potentially trying to trade for Otto Porter Jr. And of course, this is all being reported by Kevin O'Connor. I think this is a very interesting one. I'm going to say it. I, I don't really like it unless they want to get rid of Andrew Wiggins and his contract, which I wouldn't see why they would do that, considering he's had a pretty good season so far for the Golden State Warriors. I guess they could ask the question to the Chicago Bulls. They could say, well, hey, you know, we'll give you Wiggins. You give us Otto Porter Jr. and maybe a couple second round picks or something like that if they want to get rid of his contract. But I really doubt that, and I, I don't know how they're going to make this contract situation work. One way how I think they could make it work is if they convince the Bulls to let him go in a buyout. But I just don't see the Bulls doing that. Like, why would the Chicago Bulls let him go for nothing? Like, he's currently averaging 11.6 points per game, 6.3 rebounds, 2 assists per game on 40% from 3. On 23 minutes per game, he hasn't played exactly the most games this season. But again, considering he is still a decent role player and a player that might want to come back for cheap in free agency, why would you let him go in a buyout? That's really the only way I could see the Golden State Warriors somehow getting this done, unless they tried to get Larry Markinen, maybe? I don't know. Like, Look, if they tried to get Larry Markinen, they could say, hey, will you, will to make the contract kind of match up, you give us Larry Ma uh, Markinen, he's what? six million dollar contract he's probably on something like that and Otto Porter Jr so that makes it 38 million because Otto Porter Jr is on 28 million and they could say well hey we'll give you maybe Cali Oubre and his 19 million dollar contract um they could offer I don't even know who they could offer up they could offer up probably like the what five to ten million dollars that is still on you know Clay Thompson's kind of injury exception they could offer up Kavan Looney. So again, that's $5 million, another $5 million, $10 million. It's probably about $29 million right there if I offer up Kavan Looney, the rest of Clay Thompson's injury exception, and of course, um, Kali Oubre to try and get, and they could probably offer up like a first round pick or something to try and get Larry Markin and then like Otto Porter. That's the only way I could see a trade like this happening because they're not going to give up, you know, that, all of that, you know, well, Kali Oubre and the trade, the um, injury exception rather, and of course, Kevon Looney for Otto Porter because, you know, uh, Kali Oubre is 10 times better than what Otto Porter is. I don't know. How, the, how are they going to make this trade work? It, it doesn't make any sense at all. I, my mind is absolutely uh, destroyed and blasted from trying to figure out this trade scenario, the best thing I can come up with was just that that I mentioned, but also the best thing I could come up with is the potential buyout that we could also potentially see of maybe Otto Porter Jr. Maybe they don't want all of his injuries anymore. Maybe they don't want his $28 million. Maybe they want to, you know, extend Zach Levine, get him on the max, which he definitely deserves. And of course, you know, go out and sign some players in free agency. Or maybe, the, here's the thing they could do. Maybe they want to take on a player. Maybe they want to say, hey, let's get rid of Otto Porter's $29 million and we'll go and trade for a, you know, a, a guy. Like, a, let's just say they get rid of Otto Porter Jr. Let's just say he reaches a buyout. He goes and signs with the Warriors on $2 million or something like that. And then Otto Porter, and then, you know, they have, what, $28 million free. What if they go ahead and trade for Andre Drummond? Because they can take on that $28 million now, most likely, because they just got rid of Otto Porter. Maybe that's what the Chicago Bulls are doing. If they let, you know, get rid of Otto Porter, maybe that means they're going after an all-star. Who would that all-star type of caliber be? Could it be like an Andre Drummond? Could it be like a Victor Oladipo, which I really doubt it? Could it be like a DeMar DeRozan? Um, a Nikola, oh, Nikola Vucevic and Zach Levine. What a duo that would be. That would be a very cool duo. Damn, that would kind of be cool. Now that I think about it, they, imagine if they let Otto Porter Jr. go. You know, the Golden State Warriors, who, again, I'll talk about the fit and how he works, if he was to sign there, you know, from a potential buyout. Uh, imagine if they offered up, you know, let's just say, because Larry Markkinen is reported that he and the Bulls are nowhere near on extension. They're not fully committed to him. He might go to a different team. What if they offered up Larry Markkinen and, like, Thad Young 
to make the contracts that match up. And considering Thad Young's averaging 12 points per game, it's been pretty decent this season. What if they ever offered up like Larry Markin and Thad Young um, and a first round pick for Nikola Vucevic? That would be a really good trade from the Chicago Bulls. And imagine that duo. You're finally giving Zach Levine someone to play with. Then they can, you know, go out and sign a power forward in free agency. Who knows, maybe they could go out and bring in like a, a John Collins or someone like that, who I'm sure they'll be able to afford. They're going to have so much cap this offseason. A team that, let's just say they get a play like John Collins, a team of like Kobe White at point guard, Zach Levine at shooting guard, um, Patrick Williams, a small forward, John Collins at power forward. Um, you'd have Nikola Vucevic at center, players like Thomas Sadoransky, Daniel Gafford, Denzel Valentine, Wendell Carter Jr., uh, Garrett Temple, and whoever else they go and sign a free agency, all coming off the bench. That'd be a very cool team, I'm not going to lie. I think that would be pretty cool to kind of see that potentially happen, and they could fit it all in salary-wise. And then contract extending Zach Levine on that max that he does really, really deserve. And then if we look at this as well, what if, how does this fit for the Golden State Warriors? Well, I think if they can get a backup small forward slash power forward in Otto Porter Jr., Considering their backup power forward is Eric Pascal, and he's kind of been playing a lot of backup center recently because of Marquez Chris being injured. And there's rumors Pascal's, uh, you know, Eric Pascal might be potentially getting traded, I believe. If they can bring in a backup small forward slash power forward, Otto Porter Jr. for $2 million, who can, you know, if he gets healthy, can start to average you maybe, you know, it's eight points off the bench, I'd say. You'd probably give him eight to 10. Um, some very good three point range as well, and keeps that spacing going. Wow, imagine that. That would be very good for Golden State Warriors fans as well. That team would be so depth, uh, you know, have a lot of depth. Steph Curry, Andrew Wiggins, Kelly Oubre, James Wiseman, Eric Pascal, um, Kent Bazemore, Jordan Poole, uh, Marquise Chris, Draymond Green. I believe that's about nine players that I've just named. Brad Wanamaker, that's 10. Kevon Looney, that's 11. Um, again, as well, Otto Porter Jr. would make it 12. There's a lot of depth in that team. And then Clay Thompson coming back, hopefully, from that injury that he can finally get back from. That'd be very cool. And they could try and trade Andrew Wiggins or someone like that. Um, and for a variety of picks, maybe, to go out and get a superstar or a star. Golden State Warriors have a lot of building blocks here. I believe Otto Porter Jr. would look very good in the Golden State Warriors colors. And I think Otto Porter Jr. will definitely consider them when he joins his new team. But of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all that NBA content and NBA news. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MRIRO slash long channels if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. Um, but of course, don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye. Hello